It's good to remember that this program and training and developing healthy habits is not a quick fix, that it's a lifestyle change you're trying to make so that it's something that you can continue to do and that is sustainable long term. A lot of times we can be our own worst critic and look at the number on the scale and think it's the only way to determine our success. Remembering that you can have positive changes happening from within your physique and even just your mental health that does not rely on the number on the scale is very important when you're entering any new fitness journey. By week three, you may not be seeing progress on the scale, but what's happening is your body is adjusting to a new training protocol. You're getting used to following and tracking macros. You're upping your water intake, and you're also trying to figure out your digestion, your sleep habits, and creating new healthy habits all around. It does take time for your body to adjust to all of these changes. So some of the things that you can look for to see progress is, you know, improve sleep, a better mood, your progress photos changing, your physique is going through a lot of adjustments and you will see those changes even if the number isn't showing them. Something important to remember when weighing yourself is that muscle weighs more than fat and so going through these programs and training protocols you are developing new muscle mass and that is going to be heavier than the fat loss that you are seeing. So if you see the scale raise a little bit or even if you stay stagnant on the scale, try to take into account for the muscle you're gaining because you're getting stronger. Upper body muscle groups are gonna be things like biceps, triceps, chest, uh, you got your back and your lats, shoulders. Uh, lower body, we got quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. With strength training, mind to muscle connection is super important and that is going to be because we want to make sure that we are activating and firing the correct muscle to really get the most out of that specific exercise. In the gym, in order to achieve that mind to muscle connection, it's going to be best to really just take some time, maybe turn off your music, think about what muscle you are actually feeling working and think about what muscle you should be feeling. So for example, in a tricep pushdown, if you're feeling that a little bit in the lats, then that's probably not where you should feel it and you should feel that firing in your triceps. So read the description in the app, take a second to look at your form, take a video of yourself and really get down that movement so that you have optimal mind to muscle connection. You can also achieve mind to muscle connection in your warm up, which is going to be super important. So for example, on a very heavy glute and hamstring day, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are activating and firing those glutes and hamstrings before you start lifting the weights. So maybe take a glute band, um, do some abductions, do some side steps, really work and fire up those muscles and wake them up. And that way you will have that mind to muscle connection when you are actually lifting the weights. If you're feeling discouraged in your journey, you can go back to the Fit by Katie Instagram and look at the previous challenge winners. And some of those challenge winners haven't even lost a single pound. But what you can see is a completely different physique, even with the number on the scale staying the same. When you find yourself feeling less motivated or even a little discouraged, you can always visit Facebook and go to the Fit by Katie Challenge Group to lean on thousands of women who are going through the exact same thing you are for support.